Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I've got one hour. I just dropped Hank off at a birthday party and then I drove about 25 minutes to get to the lake. I've got about an hour and then 25 minute drive back to pick him up from a trampoline party, I think is what he's at. Anyways, I figured because we were not too far from a lake that I do like to fish uh, and it has some decent smallmouth, decent largemouth in it, I'd come out here and try for an hour, and if you've only got an hour to use one bait, I kind of feel like, why not go big? So I'm gonna try the Berkley uh, Nessie. This is the seven inch. I do have a nine incher here as well, uh, but we're gonna start with the seven incher, see if we can get some action on it. Just wanna see if we can catch anything. Uh, you know, I've used it one other time uh, up at my parents' lake house, and I did catch two northern on it. Uh, but didn't have any action from bass, but I got to tell you I don't feel like I was fishing it where I would want to fish a bait like this So right now today we're gonna be uh, Covering some basically just flats and around some weed clumps that I know the fish like to set up on We could catch big largemouth. We could catch big smallmouth. We could catch big pike. We could catch big muskie uh, So we'll see but we got one hour. So I'm gonna get fishing right now and uh, let's see what we can do First cast, it is 157. I dropped them off at about 120, party was at 130. I gotta pick them up at 3.30, which means I gotta be out of here by uh, right at about three o'clock. So that's my one hour. I figured this would be a good opportunity. Nice warm fall day. I mean, I'm in a t-shirt and shorts. It's 80 some degrees. Water temp on this lake is 70.1. God, that is unheard of. And today's the, what, the 23rd, 24th, Saturday, whatever that is. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoy fishing glide baits. I just don't feel like I get to do them as much. And I just feel like this was a good opportunity to come out and play around with this one. Cause I do feel like it'll be a one to throw in tournaments, you know, around some docks, around some laydowns, uh, the action on it's amazing it's a super easy one to use uh, from an expense standpoint it's not you know crazy expensive by any means when you compare it to the other uh, glide baits that are out there so it's just one i feel like it's worth getting uh playing around with to get used to so i know when to apply it and when not to apply it because i do not like to use baits in tournaments lures that i am not familiar with and uh you know this is one that's new and i just haven't been able to play around with it much i have you know like i said used it one time i've thrown it around on the river at my house and really enjoyed it uh it's a extremely easy glide bait to use just just didn't have any luck in either of those situations actually take that back i did have the first time ever in any of my retrieve videos where i just go down by the river at my house I had a, a nice smallmouth come up and, and boil on it. That's the first time I've ever had one during the few casts I take Well, uh, you know, just making retrieve videos. So let's see. I feel like one fish would be a success on a glide bait. That's how I always feel, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me to catch nothing. Wouldn't surprise me to, I guess, maybe catch more than one or two. It's not a amazing lake it's got some quality fish in it doesn't have uh the numbers though to like have me feel like we're gonna catch some two pounders mixed in i'd be willing to bet if we get bit they're probably going to be quality fish big large mouth they're big small mouth enough of me talking Oh, oh, God dang, that was a big one. Ah, uh.
Oh God, dang it. That was a giant. Oh, he's still under it. Oh. Well, we're a half hour in. Typical glide bait fishing. I had one smoke it. Actually, I've had two smoke it, both big smallmouth. And then I had one other that followed it that I think was a big large mouth. He chased it to the boat. He was not hot though. He just, he's like three feet behind it the whole way. But both smallmouth smoked it. You know, you're just talking about, oh God. There was another one following it right there. I don't know what that was. Not, ah. Uh, it looks so good coming through the water. It's so easy to use. Like you can you can use your reel, just put motion in with your reel, or you can twitch it real good and walk it with your rod. I've had one, the first one I had, I was kind of burning it, stopped it, and he clobbered it, which is a Lake Champlain type thing that I've done before, and they'll come out of super deep water to hit that. Um, the other one, I was just working it real slow. I saw him behind it from like 20 feet away and I killed it. And he, he hit it, swirled on it, he just didn't get a didn't get a hook in him. So we are a half hour in. I mean I'm I'm really liking what I've seen, except I'm not I'm not putting them in the boat. And I can't say they're not committing, they're just not getting the the hook. And that's again, I mean we're talking smallmouth here, so it's sometimes the name of the game I feel like. But Keep trying, got another half hour. Oh God, did you see that? It was a giant. Oh, oh God. Ah. Oh. <laughs> giants, just giants. You one shot, and that's it. Got him. Oh, big one. Real big. God, that's a five pounder, I think. Let's get him in. We're actually going to succeed. God, that's a big one. Look at that one. Oh, cow, guys, that's a monster. And I'm gonna lose it messing around like this. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. That's a five pounder. The Nessie seven inch. We just completed the one hour challenge by about four minutes. We, I've seen, I've seen a 20, 
two to 25 pound bag today come up after this thing look at that thing the old golden shiner jeez that is a heavy fish all right let's get her back we got to go get hank we don't want to be late look at that fish hey oh well i think i might come back tomorrow and give this some time because in an hour we're actually at an hour five minutes so i gotta go but in an hour i i don't know that's the first one i've landed i've had three or four other monsters as you guys hopefully can see in the video i've had some giant follows this lake the tournaments here kick out like winning bags of 16 pounds so i don't know what's going on but i think i'm coming back all right guys i gotta go thanks for watching uh this thing is pretty pretty cool pretty cool is all i'm gonna say right now the berkeley nessie one hour challenge we're done i gotta get out of here thanks for watching like subscribe and we're gone